Seeking answers about the ongoing problem of providing decent military housing to the nation's 1.3 million military members. Privatized housing companies have exposed up to 200,000 military families to toxic mold, lead paint, water damage and infestations. The 2020 National Defense Authorization Act enacted needed reforms to make the companies more responsive and military leadership more engaged. But some of those reforms have been slow in materializing. Today, Army leaders assured lawmakers they're trying. As you know, housing has been a key focus area. Our soldiers and their families deserve high quality, safe housing. Our focus is on fixing the privatized housing issues brought to light in 2018. The acting assistant secretary of the Army said the goal is to put into place the four remaining tenants bill of rights provisions as close to June 1st as possible.